Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Penny. I'm a certified advanced esthetician or a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon, but today is going to be a makeup video. We are going to be discussing our top two, bottom two favorites and fails from 10 select brands, 10 of our favorite brands. I'm doing this video in collaboration with my friend Lori from the channel Pride in Photos, and I'm gonna link her information in the description box, but guys, you're gonna to wanna to check her out. I know that there's a lot of you that are really going to love Lori. She does anti-aging videos, beauty, she does tutorials, fashion, and I gotta say that probably the thing about Lori is she has this way about her that makes you smile through her entire video. She's just a joy to watch. If you are wanting to kind of lift your mood, you want to watch Lori's video. Seriously, she just she's just a joy. It's just joy. So I really hope that you will definitely check out her video after you watch this one. And also, I have to say, this video is inspired by Mel Thompson and Jenna Frace. I'm also going to link their videos in the description box because they came up with the idea. And both Lori and I thought, what a fun idea. For me, I really wanted to do this because it helps me take stock in the things that I really, really love. And so, yeah, I'm excited to share that with you today. So please visit Lori after you watch this video and let's get into it. I'm start with Mac. I'm just gonna start with Mac. Top two, number one, my number one top pick is the Mac Giga Black. It's the Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. Guys, this has been my bottom lash mascara for years now. It has the tiniest little wand and I believe there it's a tubing mascara. I only use this on my bottom lashes. So this tube, literally, I go through one of these maybe every four or five months. I keep it longer than other mascaras. It works super well. It helps me not get mascara all over underneath. And if you guys have watched any of my videos, you know that I am a mess with mascara. This one kind of helps with that. It really is, there's a lot of control, but no smudging, no, you know, it's just fantastic. It, this is a a winner from MAC. The other top two is the Mineralized Skin Finish. It is a fantastic powder if you are somebody who likes to keep your skin looking like skin. It literally will just take down a little bit of shine, but you do not get a ton of that powdery look. It leaves you literally with a skin finish. Hence the name skin finish. Now my bottom two from MAC were not difficult to choose and they are both some Fix Plus. Now one of these is in, that one of them's gold and one of them's pink. I picked them up at the same time. These are my bottom two. The gold is probably the bottom of the bottom two. Literally when you spray it, you guys, it, at first you can't tell. This one is the pink. You have to shake it up. It looks like it's gonna be so pretty, right? In there is all this iridescent, beautiful pinkness. Okay, so this one super dries out my skin and I actually can't see any of that iridescent, any of that. So it, do, it does nothing for me, okay? Now the other one, which is the gold one, this one was kind of funny. I got this one and it kind of looks the same. When you shake it up, you see all this beautiful, see all that gold in there? And it looks like it's just this fine gold, you know, mist. You hear the, that should have been a clue. So I sprayed this all over my, my face, my neck, my chest, thinking that I was just gonna get this really subtle kind of golden sheen that was gonna be subtle. This looks like it's gonna be subtle to me. Holy moly, I looked in the mirror, there's huge chunks of gold. Like, like I don't even know if teenagers would want this kind of glitter all over. I mean, it's like chunky, not pretty, and I had it all over me, all over me. And then I was kind of afraid to get in my car because <laughs> I was like, that's gonna be everywhere. It's just terrible. And had I kept the receipt, I would be returning this, but I didn't, so there's that. Let's go the other direction. We're gonna talk about By Terry. Now, my top two from By Terry are going to be the Sun Designer palettes, and I just talked about these recently. I just talked about these in my favorites. 
These are so fantastic. I love them so much. Now I will tell you that the light and tan vibes apparently is very difficult to find. I'm on the hunt for it myself. So I'm gonna say that Happy Sun is the best of the best in my collection anyway. So what I love about this, you guys, first of all, it's $55. I believe it's 55. And you get three blushes essentially, but you can swirl them all together. You get three highlighters. The highlighters are so shimmery and so pretty. I mean, they're just really, really pretty, right? And they're very soft and they give a sheen instead of a glitter. These are beautiful and they're like velvet on your skin. They impart the most perfect amount of pigment, not too much pigment and not, you know, nothing. They're just really beautiful. I feel like you get six different things in here for $55 for By Terry. That's pretty awesome. Now, my number one favorite from By Terry is something that I've used for years and years and years two colors and that is their ombre black stars and my favorite two are bronze moon and misty rock these have literally been in my collection for years and years now bronze moon is kind of a platinum platinum -y bronze very very soft creamy eyeshadow stick right and then the misty rock is a platinum lilac and guys, the thing I like about these is I can wear them as eyeliner. I have Misty Rock underneath and it blows out so beautifully and then it stays. I mean, it is rock solid. What I like about this too is I can throw on either one of these all over my mobile lid and then I can literally bounce them out with my finger and they spread. Do you see how they're kind of soft spread? And then once that sets, oh my gosh, it leaves the most beautiful eyeshadow behind. So they're very, very versatile. They're perfect if you travel. And it's hard to tell the difference, but guys, they're they're very different. One is definitely purple and one is definitely bronzy, platinum-y. But they are gorgeous. That's probably my number one from By Terry of all the things I've ever bought. Now, in my bottom two for By Terry, one is an absolute bottom. This is the bottom of the bottom for By Terry, and I love this brand. But it is this hoof brush from By Terry. Now, I've used this a bunch because I love this shape. You guys know that I love this. I have this from from Sonia Kashuk in this shape and I love this one is fantastic I also have it from Trish McAvoy in that shape this is the very best hoof brush I've ever used from Trish McAvoy so good this one from by Terry I ordered it because I love that shape it is so scratchy so scratchy and I've tried things to soften those bristles and they're just it's not great. It's just not great. And I think it was like $45, which is not cheap for a brush. I mean, I know that there are much more expensive, but it's just scratchy. I haven't tried any of her other brushes, but because I've tried this one, I'm kind of like, mm, probably not going to try many of her brushes if that's the quality of this one. So that is in the bottom. The other that I don't own anymore, I've actually given away, is she has a foundation that come and they are in a brush. I'm going to put a picture of one here. The problem is the shade range. The actual product is beautiful it has this silky texture it spreads like a dream if you've ever used by terry foundations they're glorious they are absolutely beautiful the shade selection is difficult the undertones but this particular one with the brush on it i don't know there's five shades i think which is just abysmal as far as a shade range is concerned and they have a very peachy undertone. They're really, really difficult. I've tried it in multiple colors because I like the formula. It's just not great. So that would be on the bottom of my list as well. Okay, moving on to Chanel. So Chanel's been hitting it out of the park lately as far as I'm concerned. My number one from Chanel is gonna be a mascara. And I'm opening this up because I have several backups of this. And I just wanted to show you one straight out of the package. This is the Le Volume de Chanel. I can thank my friend Jill Christ for this recommendation. I heard people talk about this forever and I was kind of like, eh, I just didn't, I don't know. I just didn't think much of it. And then I picked it up. You guys, this is such a great mascara. I mean, it is definitely one of the top things, in my opinion, that Chanel has ever come out with. It has a rubber wand, but it just imparts the perfect amount of mascara. It is the perfect size wand. It isn't the kind of rubber wand that you're gonna poke yourself in the eye. I don't know, it's not quite that stiff. 
It gives you big, big lashes, but it gives you lots of volume and it doesn't get clumpy. It builds really easily. It's just a beautiful mascara. Now my second top from Chanel, and this is probably my top thing I've ever purchased from Chanel, and it is the, it's all dirty, it is the bronzer that is the Duo Bronze Lumiere. You guys, I, this is a more recent favorite. You've heard me talk about it. I've had it, I don't know, maybe two months, something like that. And it is absolutely beautiful. It is what I have on today as my bronzer. I don't necessarily use this as a highlight. I mix them together. I try to get more of the bronze, but then I mix in a little bit of that. It gives the most beautiful luminosity and it's the perfect tone. It is not too muddy. It is not at all terracotta or too peachy for my liking or for the look that I'm going for. It is absolutely just a beautiful bronzer. I don't know if you can tell. It's absolutely beautiful. But not only that, the actual formula is perfection. You don't get too much on your brush, but you get some on your brush so you're not digging into the product. It imparts just the perfect glow, the perfect wash of bronze. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Bottom two. This is going to be different, I'm sure, than a lot of people. And... I'm sure a lot of people aren't going to agree with me, but number one is gonna be these dang lipsticks. And I hear people talk about them all the time, and so I own probably four because I keep trying to like them. These are the Rouge Coco Flash. I don't know why, but these do not work for me. Uh, these are, in my opinion, so look, doesn't that look beautiful? I mean, I just think that that's so pretty. That is the color 84. And then this is a, a beautiful nude. And this is in the color 52. So yeah, those just look so pretty to me. But on the lips, for me, I feel like they're too slippery. Like I feel like they're oily on my lips. And maybe for some people, some people must love that because clearly these are very, very popular. I just do not care for the formula. The next thing that's on the bottom, and I have held onto this, for probably 20 years, you guys, but it is a brush by Chanel. It is a foundation brush. This has been in my collection forever. I just think it's terrible. It's terrible. And so for me, the bottom would be Chanel brushes. I don't think they're the best brushes on the market. I wouldn't spend the money on them. And I feel like I've kept this because it was a Chanel brush and I don't, it's hard for me to part with it, but they're not good. They're just not that great. Chantikai. I love Chantikai. This is very, very hard for me, but my top two are going to be bronzers. These are limited edition, but I'm sure that they're gonna be in the permanent collection. I, I just don't think that these are gonna go away, but right now in this red packaging, they are limited edition. Now I have them in both colors. One is uh, Sirena, I think that's how you say it. This one is a little bit more warm and terracotta, maybe a little bit of gold in there. It's a baked gelée. And guys, it's stinking gorgeous. I mean, it imparts the most beautiful glow. What's I, what I really like about this one is a lot of these baked gelée formulas, for me, you have to really work your brush in. This is not like that. These are that baked texture, so you can't, it's hard to overdo it but you don't have to dig in there to get some pigment onto your face. The other one is Goa, and this one I've talked about before, you guys. It is a red-based, and it definitely has this beautiful sheen, but it is more, if you can see, it is more of a neutral slash red. This one is more of a terracotta slash warm. Oh my gosh, they're simply stunning on the face. Now this one looks really dark and I definitely have to use a light hand with it, but this one you can use if you are light to medium. They're just beautiful bronzers. Okay, in the bottom, and again, I know that this is gonna be one of those things where people are not gonna agree with me, but I am putting my Chantikai lip glosses on the bottom and I'm gonna call them both bottom two because Every color that I have in these are kind of like meh. I feel like they're expensive and you get kind of a clear nothing gloss. It's right there. I don't know. I, I guess I feel like for that amount of money that they just aren't anything special. I don't hate them. I just don't love them. The other top product from Chantikai is going to be this blush. Guys, I've been using this every single day since I got it. This is in the color Gladiola. It is a cool toned blush and it gives you this kind of um, cooling effect 
and that's a super heavy swatch, but I love this on the cheeks. I feel like it just gives you this beautiful wash of healthy color, and it's kind of hard to do this wrong because it's just very, very easy to use and pat out, and the color is just the most beautiful watercolor, and I love that cooling effect, and I just think that it's really fun and small, travel-friendly, and easy to use. It's just a beautiful product from Shantikai. I love it. I love how tiny it is. I just I think it's adorable. Okay, moving on to Charlotte Tilbury. The top two, the first one is going to be the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. This has been in my collection for years and years and years. I mean, literally at least four years. This highlighter is definitely one of the most beautiful grown up champagne highlighters. It will illuminate, it's gonna be really hard to tell on, on camera, but it illuminates your skin, I have it on today, in the most flattering way that is definitely great for mature skin. I feel like it makes you look hydrated. The powder seems to kind of meld with your skin and not just lay on top and then make you look older. Like I don't want to be glowy but look dry from a highlighter. This doesn't do that. This bronzer is so fantastic if you are a pale skin person. For me, I can almost in the summertime put that everywhere and just look glowy and bronzy because it's the most beautiful tone. It is not too warm in any way and it's definitely not too cool. It is supposed to be kind of like a contouring slash bronzer. So what what is what are they calling that now? What are they calling that? Bron brontour? They're calling it something, some little catch name. But I find that it's true. It's very, very versatile. And you get a ton of product in here. The other product from uh, Charlotte Tilbury, which was not difficult to pick, is the lip liner in Iconic Nude. If you don't own this and you are somebody who loves lip liner and you like nude lips in any way, this is just to me a must have in every makeup lover's collection. It is the most perfect, perfect neutral color kind of almost can contour your lips. I just, I find that to be so pretty and it balances lighter lipsticks so well. For this one, right? Look how bright that is, right? If you apply that with the Iconic Nude, that, that lip pencil is just the perfect, it really is perfect balance to nude pinks, nude peaches. It's just a wonderful, wonderful lip liner that I definitely think is something that could be in everybody's collection. Now my bottom two from Charlotte Til Tilbury. Number one is gonna be the Magic Away Concealer and I know a lot of people love this. I did a whole video on it. I wanted to love it too. Unfortunately, it really dried out my under eyes. I will link that video. I don't wanna go on and on and on about it, but it just did not work for my dry under eyes. I do have dry dehydrated skin and especially under my eyes, so I gotta be super careful, but it didn't work for me at all. So that is one of them. And the other one that is on the bottom, and this was hard because I really actually like this product, but it is her little pot eyeshadows. Now these are fine. They work great and they're really pretty. The reason why they're on the bottom is that I feel like you can get this in other brands just less expensively. I don't think that there's a lot special about it, but I do think it's beautiful. It does wear all day. I just think that there are some from the drugstore that are as good, so it's in the bottom, but it's not a bad product, but it is in the bottom. Okay, we're gonna move on to Tarte. Now, my number one from Tarte is actually a number one in general. I love it so much. It is the Tarte Found Sealer. Guys, I am working on a full review of this foundation. I've actually had it for months. I've, I got this foundation after I watched my friend Jen from the channel Jennifer Joyce Beauty. She did a review of this. Her foundation reviews are amazing, by the way. And she has oily skin. And in that video, I was listening to her video as I was driving home from Southern Oregon. I was driving and listening to YouTube. And she talked about how, you know, if you were dry, this might be wonderful. I literally stopped on my way home from a five hour trip and bought it and came home with it, fell in love with it. I can't believe I haven't done a video on it yet. I'm wearing it today. It is a dry skin person's foundation dream and it's not expensive. It actually reminds me quite a bit of the Suku 
the glow foundation that I did. I did a video with Abby Bliss White and I love, love, love that foundation, but it has mineral oil and this one definitely does not. It's, you know, from Tarte and this wears so beautifully. I have it in the color 27N. So look for a review that's coming and this is so good, you guys. It has a one of those roll-up pumps and I use about a pump and a half, maybe two pumps and it gives you medium to full coverage that looks glowy and hydrated and just kind of perfected. If you are normal to dry, normal, normal you could do it too. But I, according to Jen, oily, you can't do it. I'm sorry that she just thinks that this is no good for oily skin people. But man, for my dry skin, it will make me look like I have eight hours of sleep and I drank eight glasses of water because I just look hydrated and I definitely don't look like I have the skin that I actually really have. Love this, definitely a number one, probably my number one ever from Tarte that I've purchased. The other top is this foundation brush. I've had this in my collection for years and years as well. And guys, if you are looking for a brush to put on foundation, to put on liquid foundation, to buff it in, this is so good. It is not super, super expensive. It's very, it's the right amount of density. It buffs in a foundation incredibly quickly and I love it. It cleans up well. It's a, just a beautiful brush from Tarte. Definitely a top two. I love this wow. so much. Yeah. So this is definitely on the top. On the bottom for Tarte for me, first of all, it's gonna be, they have a moisturizer that is like a water. It's called... Drink of Water Boost. The only reason why that one's on the bottom for you guys is it has citrus peel oil in it and I'm really trying to avoid and recommend that you avoid citrus peel oil. That would be grapefruit peel oil and lemon peel oil as well as bergamot oil. And the reason why is those tend to be sun sensitizing. So if you are someone who suffers from any kind of pigment issues or you already are sensitive or you're sensitive to the sun, then you really want to avoid those. And I think that brands put them in for fragrance. And that would be a really great hyaluronic acid moisturizer if it didn't have that citrus peel oil in it. The other that's in the bottom are the round com compacts. I've given mine away. I got one in a boxy charm, but the round compacts of eyeshadows from Tarte. I just feel like they're boring. I feel like they're meh. I don't care for that shape. I feel like it's a waste of space. I don't know, I'm just not drawn to it. So those are the bottom for Tarte for me, but overall, I love that brand, honestly. Okay, next up is gonna be Laura Mercier. My number one from Laura Mercier is this Secret Brightening Powder. Now, this is coming from someone who does not set my under eyes as a rule, but when I want to, I will pull this little gem of a powder. I, I don't know how many of these I've purchased over the years. It's this really sheer white powder. It does come in a pressed version as well. I love this for setting my primer on my eyelids and it is great when I do need to set my under eye concealer. It brightens the area as the name suggests, but it's very sheer. It has a tiny bit of a, a luminosity to it, but you can't see it. It just keeps that area set without any crazy dryness and it's like silky. It's like the silkiest powder you will ever come across. These little guys last forever. Gorgeous powder. Now, the top, the other top was very difficult to choose. I'm going to tell you what I had to choose between. And that's these two guys. And they're in the same family. This one is Ritual and this one is Rosé. This is a baked blush. This is a baked blush bronzer. And guys, these are two of the most beautiful blush slash bronzers ever. Now the Ritual, let's see if I can get you a good swatch. It mixes all of these pinks, browns, bronzes, terracottas. It just turns into the most beautiful blushy bronzy. Now I'll tell you that sometimes in the dead of winter, this color will pull a little too warm on my face, but in the summer, it will give me the best sun-kissed glow with a hint of that pink I don't know, it is just really unique, beautiful bronzer. I've had the same one, you guys, for a couple years. It And I use it. I mean, if you can tell, it's no longer domed. <laughs> but it is so pretty and unique, and I just think it's beautiful. Now, this one is the Rosé. This is, to me, a blush topper. See how that looks? 
It's very peachy gold with a little bit of pink. I just think it's pretty. I do have it on today as a blush topper. I have so much makeup on today because I was trying to, you know, demo everything and you can't, you just can't. There's no way to put 20 things on your face. But this is the other one. I could not choose between the two because I think they're both so beautiful. If I had to choose, I'd probably say the Ritual is the number one because I've had it for years and years and it will never be out of my makeup collection. Moving on to Hourglass. Now from Hourglass, I had to say that one of my top two is definitely their new lip glosses. I have five shades of these, you guys. These were just in my favorites. I have one of them on today. This is the other one I was showing you with that iconic nude. That is the color. That's in the color Enchant next to that iconic nude. It's just the prettiest combo with that kind of, the nude takes off this kind of bubblegum color. So pretty. It gives you the most juicy pretty lips. You can go full vinyl or you can kind of pat it out and just have some nice soft lips. I love the applicator. It's really cool. It's like a flat doe foot with the center where you get a lot of product. It goes on so easily, you guys. It has the slightest bit of mint. It's just a really beautiful, opaque lip gloss. Loving this launch from Hourglass. Now, my other favorite this is hard because I like a lot of things from Hourglass, but I'm gonna say it is the Hourglass Caution Mascara. This was my number one mascara for probably an entire year. And it's been bumped off by my Grande Lash only because the Grande Lash has the castor oil in it, but they actually remind me quite a bit of each other as far as the application and the kind of lashes that you get. You get quick, big lashes with this Hourglass and you can build on them. I mean, you can get some insane lashes. It's a really, really good mascara. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge. It's a little bit difficult to get off at the end of the night. There is that, I have to say that. I do a double cleanse and I still have to work on it, but man, it stays in place all day long. It's a beautiful mascara. Now, on the bottom for Hourglass, and I know people are not gonna agree with me, but it is the Strobe Lights. Now, I have this one, and man, I just really love the color of it and everything but as time has gone on and i've used more and more different powders i realize how powdery this is how much it sits on the skin how it is different from that charlotte tilbury the film star bronze glow where it melds in with your skin and i feel like my highlight just looks like part of my skin it makes my skin glow where this one i feel like it looks like powder highlight. Yeah, there's a highlight there, but I feel like you can see the powder sitting on the top of my skin. I probably should use this with a damp blender or, you know, something like that, but I just don't care for it. It's not my favorite anymore. And the other one from Hourglass is something that I've given away and it's their crystal toppers. Now they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. My problem is I ended up with it all over my face. And at this point in my life, glitter all down my face just isn't my jam. So that is my other fail from um, hourglass overall though you guys hourglass is one of my top brands i love it so much we're down to the end you guys and the last one is it cosmetics and my number one from it cosmetics is the bye bye under eyes this is their corrector guys this is so great this is in the color medium i don't know how many of these i've had and you barely just tap your finger in i've got so much stuff on my hands you tap your finger in, you get a little on, and then literally you can tap right into your darkness. And this color, this nice kind of salmon-y color will really, really cancel out dark under eye circles. So fantastic. It takes so long to get through one of these. It's incredible. Definitely a favorite. This is in the shade medium. I also have had light. I feel like medium definitely does the most color correction. If you are anywhere from like an NC 15 all the way to an NC 40 probably you can use medium and it gives you a lot of color correction now my other favorite is sort of new you guys and it is the bye bye foundation powder now all foundations that are powders are not created equal i have been testing tons of them what i like about this one is it gives you some serious coverage right away and the color selection is not bad at all. This is light and it's gonna be hard to tell, but this is a super, super neutral shade. It really comes off beautifully neutral, not too much warmth, which I think is where a lot of powders, you know, kind of fall down. It's right here. 
So you can see it doesn't lean too warm and it doesn't lean too cool. It's a great neutral shade in light, but also it gives you a really beautiful coverage. And with just a little bit of a spray over it, it is very, very comfortable to wear as a dry skin person. And not all powder foundations are like that. I mean, I have picked up some recently, for example, I picked this one up from Makeup Forever. There's no amount of spray that I could possibly ever put on this that would make this comfortable. So not all powder foundations are created the same for dry skin people. This one is really, really good. It is a new launch and I'm really enjoying it. Now in my bottom two for It Cosmetics, this is kind of hard for me too because I really do like this brand, but I'm putting one of the CC creams in there. The reason why is this is the illumination. Now I actually like this product because it has an SPF of 50. I like it because I have this in Fair. And what I will do, it's got a great, great packaging. I actually mix this into other foundations. What I don't like about this is the shade range. I feel like It Cosmetics is big enough now that they should have a lot more shades in these CC creams. I mean, we could go a little bit wider on both ends and even in the middle. So for that, I feel like because I'm always kind of caught between two, but hey, at least there's a shade that works for me. I think that there's a lot of people on both ends of the spectrum, especially the darker end, they can't even use this at all. So for that, this part's a fail. The other one is the Confidence in a Cream, the moisturizer. I got that in a, like a boxy charm, and I gave it to my mom. And you guys, my mom had such a terrible reaction to it. She got hives, and I, I can't believe that I gave it to her without really investigating the ingredients. I just thought, oh, here, here's a moisturizer for you. I never even tested it myself. And she had to get um, that, she had to get, uh, you know, prednisone, you guys. I mean, it really, it was terrible. Just where she put the cream, like neck to forehead. And when I looked at the ingredients, all kinds of citrus peel oils, I mean, and bergamot oil. I mean, I'm just like, why would they put all that in this cream? So you just have to be really careful of that. Some people I'm sure can tolerate it, but man, if you can't, you can have a crazy reaction and it makes you more sensitive to the sun. So that is definitely a fail. I think that's everything, you guys. Oh my gosh, what a roundup, right? I sure hope that you guys will check out Lori's video. I can't wait to watch it. I can't wait. And I'm so curious to see because I bet she's going to have some favorites where I had fails and blah, blah, blah. You're going to get such a great, you know, group of perspective. I would love to know your top two brands, top two brands, and tell me what your top two things and your bottom two things are from those two brands. I'm going to make it easy on you. I'm not going to challenge you to do all of this, but I would love to know you guys, because you're, if you really step back and you have to pick just two tops, it's harder than it sounds. And it means that those are absolute loves. So I'd love to hear about that in the comment section. Definitely check out Mel and Jenna. Thank you for creating this because this was a really fun video to make. And we, Lori and I love watching you guys both. So I hope that you all are having a fantastic week. I hope you'll join me in my next skincare video and I will talk to you again very, very soon.